Alan McCrabb, uh, Dublin's number 13, received some attention. Collided with the fence in an effort to get to that ball. And uh, just being worked on at the moment. Back on his feet again, and play will restart with that sideline cut to Dublin. Missed by Tom Condon and chased by David O'Callaghan. He's got some room to work with here. McCrabb is roaring for it out the field and gets it. McCrabb steadies himself, but it's gone across the face of goal. That's Dublin's first wide after 13 minutes, but they really have started positively. And when you consider that they've had to deal with the loss of uh, Conal Keeney over the last couple of days, and Anthony Daly has had to reorganise things, it really is a flying start. Yeah, certainly the move of Ryan Dwyer to full forward has been a, a huge bonus and, and the two early goals. Mickey Quaid's puck out, claimed by Johnny McCaffrey. And in turn by the corner forward, Paul Ryan, laid off to Liam Rush. Little decoy run being made to his left by Ryan O'Dwyer. Instead, he picks out Paul Ryan, shortens the grip and fires it over the bar. Three points for the corner forward, Paul Ryan. That's his first from play. And the Dublin forward line moving really well. Yeah, certainly wor worries for the Limerick defence just now. Great play there by Paul Ryan. He caught the ball fantastically when it came in first and gave it back to Liam Rush and then ran for the return ball and an easy point for him for a finish. Well, the Leinster final certainly didn't go to plan for Anthony Daly in Dublin. Earlier this month, crashing to an 11-point defeat against Kilkenny. But the soundings from the Dublin camp during the week have been very positive. That uh, Conal Keeney accident notwithstanding. Dublin trying to get back to the kind of performances that saw them beat Offaly and Galway in the early stages in Leinster. And they really look to have found their rhythm here in the first quarter of an hour. That's a chop on uh, David O'Callaghan and another free in. Yeah, worrying signs for, for the Limerick defence. You know, they're second to the ball there now. The Dublin attackers have settled down. Dotsio Callan has won the last couple of balls. Tom Condon missed the last one he came out for. And there, Dotsio Callan was in front. And, uh, you know, there was, a, there was really no need for Tom Condon to foul him. He was, he was going nowhere. He had a chance to block him or hook him from, from where he was. So, you know, amateurish mistake, really, from, from Tom Condon. And, you know, gives Paul Ryan an easy chance to put five points between the teams. Paul Ryan has been scoring for fun this season. Hit uh, big tallies against Galway and Offaly. Ran up nine points in the league final as well. And that's his fourth this afternoon. Double scores after a quarter of an hour. Ball breaks into Declan Hannan's path. Time and again, he's coming down the centre and that's his third point from play. Declan Hannan is, is really the outstanding player for Limerick just now. He's coming down through the middle. Joey Boland against Kilkenny was, you know, wasn't really recovered from injury, and he's having his problems with Declan Hannan just now as well. He looks really, really sharp, Declan Hannan. And the gap is back to four points. Gary Maguire's puck out. Won by Dublin and fed through quickly. This is Liam Rush. Lovely sidestep to go by Geary. Rush shortens the grip of his left side and he pops it inside that post and over the bar. His first score, lovely skillful run, lovely balance, and the finish wasn't bad either. Yeah, Liam Rush is a, he's a great, he's an outstanding player, playing left half forward today, but you know, from a Limerick point of view, he's going past Brian Geary too easily there, and uh, that's Limerick's problem. Their, their defence has been behind, and now all the Dublin attackers are they're getting comfortable on the ball, and that's a problem for Limerick. Ball well won at the heart of that Dublin defence by Joey Boland and it's all opened up. Good strong run, trying to drop it in in front of that full forward line who are moving constantly but good goalkeeping from Nicky Quaid who tries to pick out the wing forward Niall Moran. Touch just let him down. Dublin have it back, Liam Rush steals a look at the goal post, snatched at the shot though and he knew from the moment it left his hurl it was heading to the left and wide but yeah, Dublin, five points in front, Nicky, and probably a fair reflection of the first quarter. Yeah, certainly the goals have been a big difference so far, Mike, and uh, Limerick need to, need to settle down, particularly in defence. And, you know, Nicky Quaid has been left down by some of the people that he has passed the ball. He's hit great passes to Niall Moore and Paul Brown, and both have left him down. Lovely flick from Tobin. 
towards Hannon. Just managed to knock it though into the path of Peter Kelly and the Dublin fullback gets it away down the field in towards uh, the corner forward. This is Paul Ryan trying to hold off David Maloney. Does well to pick out McCrab. McCrab across to Connor McCormick. McCormick with the shot. Didn't strike it cleanly and Nicky McQuaid shows a good strong hand to take it, feed it out to Hickey and now Brian Geary. More danger for the Limerick defence though. And that pace and movement of the Dublin forward line is causing them real problems. Yeah, that was a real chance by Conor McCormack. He, he mishit it completely. He was he had a free shot on goals and while Nicky Quaid did well to save it, it was he shouldn't have had a chance from where Conor McCormack was. And I think Limerick there when they're bringing out the ball, you see Brian Geary passing it to Gavin O'Mahony. Maybe in, in ways they're overdoing the short passing because Brian Geary was in a better position than Gavin O'Mahony was to hit it. You see, Gavin O'Mahony is under pressure and Liam Rush is on him straight away, possibly lucky and, and happy to get a free in, in, at the end of the day. Well, with the kind of form Ryan O'Dwyer has been in so far, you get the feeling if he had got that chance, he could have had his hat-trick. Two stunning goals from O'Dwyer. And they are the difference between the teams so far. This is Mickey Carton for Dublin. Late inclusion in the team. Links up with uh, Johnny McCaffrey, but a poor ball. Brian Geary standing sentry at centre back and spraying it across towards Wayne McNamara. Faced out by Shane Durkin. Back to James Ryan. Low ball, looking for Kevin Downs to run from the edge of the square, but the idea was good. The execution uh, didn't match as Limerick just tried to mix it up a little. And I suppose most importantly, try to get Kevin Downs into the match. Yeah, and so far they haven't they haven't achieved that because Kevin Downs against Waterford was absolutely outstanding. But it, and, and he was very very good that day when the ball was coming directly into the square. Now Limerick haven't haven't done that at all yet, and uh, there's not a whole lot of future in, in asking Kevin Downs to run out to the corner flag to get the ball as, as was being asked of him in that occasion. At the moment, Kevin Downs is operating in a one-man full forward line. He's in maybe 50 yards of space thing is he needs to get the ball as Dublin sprayed from McCrab across to Ryan O'Dwyer he looks really sharp over his shoulder and over the bar well he missed the Leinster final due to suspension he's out to prove a point today and that's two goals and one point he's hit now all from play in the first 20 minutes yeah Ryan O'Dwyer has been outstanding and he's been outstanding all year for Dublin he was a huge loss to them in the Leinster final but Alan McCrab is causing a lot of trouble for, for Limerick he's standing off Brian Geary and moving from side to side and Brian Geary is trying to hold the centre but somebody he's going to have to pick up Alan McCrab because he's doing too much damage just now and McCrab is using the ball well and finding TJ or finding Ryan O'Dwyer and, and, and Dotsie O'Callaghan and Paul Ryan with, with, with good ball and uh, certainly Limerick are going to have to do something about it. Meanwhile, a foul on Sean Tobin. Sean Tobin just coming, coming around there and, uh, you know, doing well. Paul Shoot just fouling him there. There was really no need to foul him again. If he, if he could have stood up and, and held off, then he had a ch he's going to have a chance to, to come back. Declan Hannon is taking the first free uh, for Limerick from close in. They had problems with Richie McCarthy against Waterford, but Hannon has been a very, very reliable free taker during the league. Dublin have plenty of men back around their goal square in case anything goes wrong. Declan Hannon trying to squeeze it inside the post, but just wide, Limerick's second. They have been outscored by 1-4 to a point in the last 10 minutes. Have Limerick. As Dublin now try to put on the squeeze and turn the screw. Good play by Niall Moran, using his strength to get that ball up, but a poor pass and easily cut out by Morris O'Brien. Greasy ball just slips away from Alan McCrab and now Gavin O'Mahony, the Limerick captain. Plenty of options away to his left-hand side. One of them is Don Logrady, looking for Downs, who times his run well. He's there in front of Peter Kelly, but his first touch, not what it might have been. And Shane Durkin can clear it away for Dublin. Ball just not running for Downs in this game so far. David Maloney out in front, keeps it simple, and Gavin O'Mahony big booming clearance looking for Tobin did he push his man Tobin with the shot brilliant save by Gary Maguire the Dublin goalkeeper 
throwing himself across his goal to flick it away. Tobin giving his man a little nudge. That was enough to get him in on goal. But Gary Maguire alive to it. And he keeps his line intact. Yeah, great save by Gary Maguire, but certainly a push by uh, Sean Tobin. You can see it clearly there. Now, when the ball drops, he doesn't hit it that cleanly and it uh, hops up at a nice height for Gary Maguire, but nonetheless a good save. Hops up just as, at a nice height for him and lucky Declan Hannon is following in, but it just moves past him. Possession back with Dublin. Paul shoot from Kula, clearing it down towards Paul Ryan. Breaks instead towards Brian Geary. An exceptional reader of the game, but he took too much out of that ball and Dotsie O'Callaghan is through. O'Callaghan saved by Quaid and finished by Ryan O'Dwyer. Now, if the goal stands, it's a hat-trick for O'Dwyer and Brian Gavin saw nothing wrong with it. Three goals for Dublin, three for Ryan O'Dwyer. Yeah, and Brian Geary gets into real trouble and Dotsy comes in and David Maloney has a swing at him and that's what Brian Gavin is calling over David Maloney and I think in addition to the, the third goal and a great hat-trick, there's going to be a, a yellow card for David Maloney as well. But a great, great start by Dublin, great goals in the first 25 minutes, but the centre of Limerick's defence, particularly Brian Geary, is under a lot of pressure, and when he got that ball, he, should, he, he had to clear it or pass it back to Nick, Nicky Quaid or get away, get away with it, but he came under pressure and uh, lost it. And, you know, Dublin have been well on top in the last five or six minutes, and uh, Limerick need goals now. Well, no surprise that the big Dublin crowd down behind Gary Maguire's goal are in full voice now. Ryan O'Dwyer has played uh, against Limerick before in the championship. That was for Tipperary, but Dublin would never have expected anything quite like this. A hat-trick in the first 24 minutes. Nobody expected him to start at full forward, and he has been impossible to pin down. But Conal Keeney has been a huge, is a huge loss to Dublin, but you know they have responded well to the loss, and particularly with Ryan O'Dwyer going full forward, it's been a big bonus and three goals for them. You know they haven't been scoring goals to date in the championship. Limerick now outscored 2-4 to a point in the last 15 minutes. They're being overran. Kevin Downs really needs to get into the game now. Being pushed to the flanks by Kelly. Nice sidestep. He's a big, strong man. He's met by Joey Boland. And he took too many touches. Free out. Brian Gavin spotted uh, that technical foul. Good pressure by Kelly and Boland. And Kevin Downs unable to find a way through. Yeah, you see, he Kevin Downs catches it three times there. And before he was hit by Joey Boland, he'd, had caught, he'd caught the ball. That was his third catch on the ball. He's fouled it. And 